Hello and welcome to Democracy 101 in 5. My name is Ibrahim Farouk. This show promotes citizens' involvement in democratic processes, bringing you key details on how to make democracy work for you. Democracy 101 in 5 is an initiative of Yaga Africa with the support of the FCDO. Let's get straight to it. Do you know how to engage the Public Petitions Committee of the National Assembly? This may be a hard one, but we asked some Nigerians for their responses. I would be very happy if I should know anything related to public uh, commission, just as you said. But we don't, I don't have any idea. If not, it's academically that I understand there is a, a, a public complaint uh, committee in National Assembly. But uh, uh, practically, it has not been so functional. On my own, if someone looks for my struggle or my child, I value you go there and ask first. Those are definitely some very interesting responses. Now, Section 62 of the 1999 Constitution as amended states that the Senate or House of Representatives may appoint a committee of its members for such special or general purpose as in its opinions would be better regulated and managed by means of such committee. Hence, the creation of the Public Petitions Committee, whose responsibility is to review petitions submitted by the public regarding grievances, complaints, or requests for intervention by the committee. According to Order 96.4 of the Senate Standing Order 2022, it states that there shall be a committee known as the Committee on Ethics, Code of Conduct, and Public Petitions, appointed at the commencement of the life of the Senate. Its jurisdiction shall include consideration of the subject matter of all petitions referred to it by the Senate or the House of Reps, and shall report from time to time to the Senate or House of Reps its opinions on the actions to be taken thereon together with such other observations on petitions and the signatures attached thereof as a committee may deem fit. A petition can be submitted by either a private citizen or corporate entity through a legal representative. The person making a petition is called a petitioner while the person or body that the petition is made against is called the respondent. The Public Petitions Committee is not accessed directly by individuals. The procedure is for aggrieved persons to write a petition to the presiding officer of the National Assembly through his or her legislator or any other legislator of their choice. When drafting a petition, there are some guidelines that must be followed to ensure that it is presented to the committee. Some of them include the following. It must be directly addressed to the Speaker of the National Assembly through the honorable member from your constituency or any other honorable member of your choosing. If the petition is written in language that is not English, it must be properly translated. The petition must be clear and concise. It must have minimal mistakes. These are the steps on how these petitions are processed. So one, the petitioner sends his or her petition through the honorable member representing his or her constituency or any other member of his or her choosing. Two, the honorable member presents the petition at the plenary of the house. And three, the petition is referred to the Committee on Public Petitions where it is registered and assigned a number. Four is that summons and hearing notices are issued to the parties involved to appear at the scheduled date for the investigative hearing. When the investigative hearing on the matter is concluded, the committee prepares a report and presents its recommendation. The chairman of the committee lays the report on the floor of the House for consideration and adoption. Upon consideration, the House may adopt, modify, or refuse the committee's recommendation, which becomes the House resolution. The clerk of the committee transmits the resolution to the petitioner and the respondent. And that's Democracy 101 in 5. We want to get your feedback. 
Remember, you can follow us at Yaga on all our handles on Instagram, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. You can also watch this episode and other episodes on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Yaga1. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ibrahim Farouk. We'll see you next time. But remember, you have the power to make democracy deliver for you. Don't sit on it. Goodbye for now.